How many rockets do you think you could farm on your own? 20? Maybe let's shoot high and say 100? Well, recently I asked myself this exact question. And I said to myself, I could farm a thousand rockets. A reasonable number, I thought at the time. Then I looked up the cost. And 1,000 rockets is 1.4 million sulfur, 1.3 million charcoal, 100,000 metal frags, 30,000 low-grade fuel, and 2,000 metal pipes. Oh my god. Yep, that looked impossible. And so, of course, now I just had to do it. And so, let's go over the rules. For a rocket to count, it has to be inside of my base. After the rocket is inside my base, I can use it or lose it. That doesn't matter. Everything you will see will be done on an official vanilla server. There were only 11 days till force wipe, and so on top of everything, I was also on a time limit. And if I wanted to get this done, I would have to average 91 rockets every day. And so I joined the server and began. The plan for day one was to get up a strong base that would keep all the rockets I collected safe. And there really isn't a safer base than a cave base. And so I headed over to a cave in the middle of the map. But since it's so late into the wipe, someone had already claimed it for themselves. Fuck, man. I mean, of course it's taken. It's a cave base. For what I expected. Luckily, I was going to have a lot of rockets this wipe. And so I could just get my start outside of the cave and then just use my first rockets to take it over. And so it was time to get up a base. Luckily, I got basically handed one from one of the area's residents. Okay. No! Come on, let me stand up. Come on, stand up. Stand up. <gasps> With the resources from this guy, I could put down my base. Boom. Second thing I now needed was a tier 3 workbench and all the BPs. Luckily, all you need for this is scrap. And so I just hit the road for a few hours, then did the train tongues for a few more hours, which after some recycling gave me enough scrap for a tier 2 workbench and I could also take three all the way down to rocket launcher. Oh! Okay, now we just need a tier 3 and enough to research rocket. Uh. I also farmed some stone and did some small upgrades to the base. Then as I continued farming more scrap, I started hearing a raid going off in the distance. And even though I really should have just stayed on task and continued farming, I just couldn't help myself and so I headed over to check it out. No way, man. Unfortunately, I died. But this wasn't my only run-in with this guy. I ran into him a few more times and I actually stole some pretty serious loot from him. Oh, we take that. This of course made him pretty mad and he started asking around for my base location. Luckily, I was still new to the area and so no one knew where I lived. And so for now, I was safe. I took a little bit of a break after this and I came back to this. What the fuck is happening here? What the? <laughs> what is happening? What? <laughs> I'm honestly not even sure what happened here, but this gun was a pretty big find. And using that, I went ham running the train system. And after a few hours, I had enough scrap for a tier 3 workbench and I could also take 3 all the way down to rocket. And so I now had all the BPs I would need to raid the cave base. Now I just needed sulfur. But as I was out farming, I started hearing another raid. And well, I now needed explosives. And so I headed over to counter. Easy. And we'll make our escape. This that's kinda nice actually. 
at least get somewhere with that. After this, I just continued farming, but I just couldn't stop running into people. No! Come on. Now this fight seemed like nothing at first, but that was until a few minutes later when I started hearing footsteps outside my base. Oh no. Ah, nice wasting materials Oscar, I see. Yeah, she's scared. It turned out that this small fight outside my base was with the guy that was trying to find my base. And in my carelessness I had led him right to it. I knew exactly what was about to happen. And well, like clockwork, they came to take me out. And with such a small base, this would not be easy to defend. Bro, I, I just need to play ceiling, honestly. Maybe I can get one or two kills. Some counters were distracting the raiders. This was my chance to seal. Let's go! After this, the raid was over. Get so fucked. And after all the people outside left, I picked up any leftovers. And after some more fighting around my base, it was time to get back on track. I actually had enough explosives to go through that first armored door. And so I would be left alone when raiding, I found some wood and put down a compound around the entire cave. Then I started raiding. That was some pretty fucking good satchels, bro. Fuck. What the... Uh... This was weird. It looked like someone had already raided this cave base and griefed it. I crafted up 3C4 and went through that vending machine too. Okay, 3C4. Oh. Boom. But this just led to what looked like more griefing. Bro, what is this base? But I knew a cave base like this would have two entrances, and so I checked out the other one too. Be stupid, be stupid. Yeah, dumb fuck. And it's a fucking armored wall. I spent the next few hours just farming sulfur and then crafted that into 16 rockets and I headed over to try and get further into the base. I also made a judgment call and I decided to raid it from the other side instead of the side I had been blowing so far. I would have to suicide down, but I have been playing now for over 32 hours straight and I hadn't heard anything from the base owners. Okay, so this medkit should do the trick. I've jumped down twice with a medkit and died, so... No way. No way I don't stand up. I'm full. Full food. And a medkit. There's no way. Zero chance that I don't stand up. Bro, the fuck? Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna stand up with the medkit. That's literally the point of a medkit. That you have a 100% chance. Oh, if they haven't changed that. If so, I missed that fucking... Patch note. Yeah, fucking zoop. I have a medkit. There's a guy online. The base owners came online. And their base wasn't actually griefed. It just had a bunch of bunkers. There's no way there's actually a guy online. Like 90% sure this base was just griefed. Like with that vending machine and shit. This just sucks. Like... This just sucks. Oh, can I not stand up anymore? I'm tired, man. I haven't slept in... 30... something hours. Because I was trying to take over this fucking cave base. Uh, walled it off and everything. And it's fucked. Apparently, the base owner, who I haven't seen yesterday, or today, I mean, I haven't slept, so in the 30 hours I've been on the server, I haven't seen them, apparently they came online, in that weird fucking base, with fucking, with some weird, I mean, I was for sure, 
that it was like griefed. Like a hundred percent sure. Building in a cave clearly wouldn't work. And so I would just have to build a base above ground. And then just hope I can defend it. I headed out to look for a base location. First over to Sulfur Quarry, but that, like everything else, was already taken. <sighs> I mean, we can just take this later on. I did find a DK base out here, which gave me some resources for a base and some sulfur. I'll take that. I used the resources from this to put down a base on an ice lake nearby. I then moved everything from my starter base to this base. I had now gone 37 hours without sleep, and I was starting to lose it. Yep. And so, after a really shitty two days of rust, I could finally get some sleep. The next day I woke up and I quickly understood that I was not the only one living in this area. And there were in fact a ton of people here, eating up all the nodes and resources from this area. I needed to get rid of all of them ASAP. Also, I still needed to finish my base. And so I came up with a way to accomplish all these things at the same time. I found some sulfur and that, plus the sulfur from the DK base earlier, I crafted up rockets and started getting rid of bases. What the fuck? I hate this game. I guess I was still a little tired after my 37 hour cycle run earlier. But anyways, I continued raiding bases around my area. Using the resources from this to start building up the base. And then I just did this for a while. Farm sulfur, craft rockets, raid a base. It's actually an okay raid. Then used the resources from that base to build on my base. Okay, 10 more rockets coming up. We're getting somewhere, but I mean we need to we need to pick it up. Oh, let's go. That was a fucking amazing raid. More of those, please. These metal frags are actually so nice. And with all these raids, I was able to build up most of my base. And I also got rid of most of the bases around my area. But of course, with all the noise I was making came a few problems. Because that night, as I tried to get some sleep, some people came over to give my base its first test run. Well... Here we go again. Wait, who's that guy? This one. Of course. Sucked. It was over pretty quickly. Luckily, they only made it to the loot room upstairs, and that only had the components and metal frags from that one raid earlier. And so, all my sulfur and everything else was safe in the loot rooms on the sides of the base. I went to get some more sleep, and when I woke up, I made sure to finish the base. Also, adding some turrets to the compound and roof. Then it was just straight back to the grind, farming sulfur. There was still a lot of people in my area, making this so much harder than it should have been. And so it was time to get rid of these last bases. I took down Heli every time it spawned in. Jeez! <laughs> what the fuck? This gave me an M2 and some rockets and C4s. Oh, oh, we take that! Big free rockets. And some C4 I can use to raid. Like, that's just free, free explosives. I was now four days into this while, meaning I only had seven days left. And I'm only 71 rockets in. I needed to make this whole sulfur process more effective. First of all, since I needed so much charcoal for this, I couldn't use large furnaces to cook the sulfur faster. 
and I instead had to spend so much of my time just filling and emptying the small furnaces. But I figured I could fix this by utilizing the new industrial update. Bro, oh, that took way too long. I'm so stupid, that took like an hour. Anyways, how this works is I put wood in one box, sulfur in the other. This, using a few splitters and a conveyor, get transported into the small furnaces, where they get turned into cooked sulfur and charcoal. Then again, using a conveyor and some combiners, this get transported up to safety into these boxes, where I can then just grab the sulfur and start crafting rockets. Okay, the whole furnace thing was now much more efficient. But the farming was still not. I was not getting the maximum amount of sulfur from each node. For this, I needed ore keys. And for that, I needed to acquire one of, if not the hardest item to get your hands on in Rust. God clones. For red, yellow and blueberries. And well, even though I hold the record for the biggest berry farm in Rust, I still have no clue how to actually get one of these things. And so I called in some professional help from professional berry farmer Tear Guy Tom. I'd already put up the farm base and collected all the berry seeds before this. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I'm good. Okay, so I need help with getting teas because I need to farm a thousand rockets. Oh my god, you're out of your fucking mind. He spent the next 30 minutes explaining to me all there is to know about teas. I have like four good genes, like YYGG. So if you have anything with one box, I like to keep one color per box. So if they get to the point that's the okay, that age is kind of... Good luck, brother. Yeah, thank you. And so let me just simplify it for you. Every seed you plant has its own genetic combination. Here you want as many greens as possible. But not that, not the H's. They're not bad to get, they're just not good. Makes sense, right? Oh look, you got one with four good green ones. Save that one, you're going to want as many of these as possible. Then after collecting a bunch of these, you're gonna run them through a program that calculates for you how to get a god clone. Sounds easy, right? No. I first have to use some shit clones to do a 50-50 to get this genetic combination. Then using that genetic combination with some more shitty genetics, finally at the end of all this, hopefully what you're left with is a god clone. Now I just have to do that with all three berries. I did a jump cut. Uh, it's been 10 hours, but I finally have god clones. Thank fucking god. I don't wanna be here anymore. Anyways, I now had the god clone. And I could start planting these and mass produce these teas. It had cost me a whole day, but I had now made the whole getting rocket process so much more efficient. Now it was time to put my head down and start farming sulfur. The fuck? Oh, what are these just doing? Is that a rocket launcher? Please, no. Oh, I'm getting raided. I did not see that. I spent one day without getting raided. I've gotten raided every single day on the server. And I am tired of it. Every single day so far. I didn't have time for this. Oh, the enter is not. I managed to fight off the raiders rather quickly, and I could seal the compound. But I ran into a big problem. The industrial system was still pretty new, and it still had some bugs to it. So why can't I seal? And well, I had just run into one of these bugs, at the worst possible time, stopping me from sealing my base. I tried my best to find out what the problem was, but this gave the raiders enough time to regroup and come back with even more rockets. And with me being unable to seal, I was fighting a losing battle. What am I supposed to do? I can't see him. And so all I could do at this point was wait for the raiders to be done with it and then pick up the pieces from there. Like I should be able to seal there. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to seal. 
First I need to find out what the problem with this wall was and why I couldn't see it. Bro, how? Where? Where is there anything? Someone, bro, someone please explain. Someone explain. Please. I need someone to explain. And it turns out that the problem was this furnace right here on the right. Or more so the adapter on top of it. Ah. Now all of a sudden I can see it. I got rid of... I got rid of the furnaces. Here. How the fuck did that block it? Not sure how that makes any sense, but whatever. I could now seal and somewhat secure the base. But I had now lost almost everything, including both my workbenches. And so, before anything, I formed the entire train system, which gave me all the scrap I needed to replace my level 3 workbench. But time was really starting to become an issue at this point, and my goal of a thousand rockets started looking more and more impossible. During the raid I had also lost my entire furnace system, but luckily since I had already come up with a good design, it was pretty easy to rebuild. Now we just need to keep building that box up with wood and sulfur. And this time I moved everything out in the compound so that glitch from earlier wouldn't come back to bite me in the event of another raid. Then with everything set up again, it was back to the grind. Well, back to work. My area was still far from mine. But now with the help of Ortiz and the automatic furnace system, I've started filling up on rockets really quickly. Hey, Dulper has been cooking. Now to cross it that into rockets. Hey, we are getting somewhere. Hey, and all the rockets we hide in here. Completely separate from the rest of the base. It's super cheap if anyone looks in here, but... Here's our most valuable possessions. And with this, I could get rid of all the bases around my area. Oh, what a fantastic raid. And let's see the loot. Jesus. Bro, what a fucking raid. Oh my god, why would you not upgrade the base? With the loot from these raids, I was basically back to where I was before the raid. Oh yeah, I can just do this. Bro, why have I... Uh, bro... I've been going around individually, like, taking everything out, but I can just do this. <laughs> that is so much easier. <laughs> that is so much faster. Oh my god. Then I just continued farming sulfur. And for every ORT I used, I would get about 4 rows worth of sulfur. Meaning I was farming about 50,000 sulfur an hour. But this came with a new problem. I was now getting so much sulfur that it was hard to keep up with the rest of the resources needed for rockets. And I was quickly running out of low grade and pipes. But what I did had was a ton of rockets and so I could just do some raiding to fill up on these resources. And just from following the chat I heard about the hacker living in N16. And so with some rockets I headed over to give him a visit. is this base bro and they were beyond loaded nothing better than taking everything from a hacker's base i grabbed what i needed and brought it back to my base i'm pretty good there's fucking raiding people late why right? like everyone's just fucking every base there is is fucking loaded but that looked like a hacker base for sure like that's the only explanation because there's no way people that build those kind of bases actually get that kind of view <laughs> and after this i was like a well-oiled machine producing rockets at a speed you have never seen before. Okay, 50 rockets coming up. A thousand rockets is, I mean, I knew it would be a lot, but bro, it's a lot. And I think we're like 20% done now, which means we still have another 800 rockets. Bro, I, I'm actually running out of pipes. I did not think that would be a problem. And when I started running low on pipes or low grade, no problem. I basically had infinite rockets and I could just do a raid and fill up on all necessary resources. Jesus. Oh my god. Now, I won't lie, I was pretty reckless when it came to raiding. So I lost a lot of rockets to counters or the base owners. But I would win more than I lost.
pretty okay. Take this stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's... I'm pretty sure that's all the loot. I was actually getting somewhere with this wipe, and for the first time, my goal of a thousand rockets actually looked doable. As I continued farming sulfur, I started killing a raid next to outpost. And so, in hopes for some more rockets, I headed over to counter. I managed to kill the raiders, and I would have stayed to finish the base, but then these rockets wouldn't count. Easy rockets. Wait, that is 16 rockets. Not bad. And so I quickly ran home with them. I know I'm cheesing it here, but I don't really care. I need a thousand rockets. After taking them back to base, I ran back to finish the raid. Decent raid. Oh, the low raid, yes. Boom. Pipes, very fucking nice. After clearing out the people trying to counter me, I made a run for it with the best of the loot. Oh, this low raid is so nice. With all these rockets I was crafting and all these raids I was doing, I was beyond loaded. And I was more scared than ever that someone would come and take it all away. And so I spent some time upgrading my base defenses. I added an outer wall to the compound and I added a ton of turrets around it. I also upgraded most of the base to metal, then I just continued farming and crafting rockets. Then as I was out farming, I heard another raid close by. And so I headed over to counter. I grabbed all the rockets and brought them back to base. I'm fucking out. That's 23 rockets. Fuck yes, bro. And 9C4. Jesus Christ. That's a fucking steal. Then the people I had just killed for all these rockets started talking in chat. Apparently, they were looking for some guy that had offline raided them. And they had reasons to believe that he lived in this space. And I don't know if it's because I just felt bad or if I just wanted to see how this played out. But I agreed to finish the raid with them. Hello? I'm coming to the game. But uh, yeah, uh, the dude that was killed me, his name was like monkey something and there's this fucking monkey sign outside this base. So, you know, we're just kind of putting two to do together. Not 100% uh, sure, but this is kind of going to be the unlucky fella. So, yeah. <laughs> and they actually turned out to be some pretty nice people. Yeah, it's it's last days of wipe. No need to be a dickhead about loot. Nah, I feel the same way, brother. What the fuck? That door's open. <laughs> Smooth. Everything's cold locked. Dude, what cuts? And the base was loaded. I'm glad I helped him out with the raid. Oh, rocket. brother. Check that box. Holy shit! <laughs> that's that's insane, loaded. dude. That sucks. This is last day. Wooden stone. Jesus, look at this bitch. Oh, I need a bunch of pipes, bro. Bro, oh, dude, it's fucking everything. perp! There's more. I go back and get the rockets. I'll go, and, I'll go and get the rockets. Wait, let me, let me just rocket. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Look at the silver. Jesus! Here. Nice. Let me blow the last uh, last door. I'm good. Nice. Yay! Oh, that's handsome too. These guys are fucking farmers. Oh fucking hell. 
Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. It was fun, fun meeting you. Unfortunately, they were a little too nice. And while I ran home to depot the best loot, they told everyone about the base in chat. And so when I came back from all loot, someone had already sealed off the base for themselves. But there was still so much loot left inside the space, there was no way I would let that go without a fight. One, four, four, four. No way this guy actually just did that. Oh, no way. Oh, man. I felt really bad after this. These people seemed new to the game, and so after grabbing the best of the loot, I gave them back the base. Crawl in, crawl in, crawl in, crawl in. They can keep the rest, I don't want it. That has to be enough low grade, right? I'm happy I did the raid with them now. I was so close not to do the raid with them. Because I thought they were fucking bullshit and they were just gonna kill me immediately. But I mean, it's end of wipe for everyone, so people don't really care. But only raiding for metal pipes and low grade was just not good enough. And so to get even more pipes, I opened up a shop selling everything from guns and workbenches to high quality metal in exchange for pipes. Bro, it's fucking selling. We're gonna fill up this thing in no time with the shop. Them for low grade, I had been taken down heli on repeat for the entire while. Wow, that's a trash heli. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Not an empty bucket crit. <laughs> no fuck. Three more to the tally. And yes, I had gotten a lot of normal rockets from this, but also incendiary rockets. And one of these will give you 125 low grade when recycled. And so I grabbed all of them and recycled. And with this, I had enough low grade for the rest of the rockets. And with my shop being a big success, it wouldn't be too long until I had enough pipes as well. This crawl thing is my quiet time. Like, I, I never take breaks. Like, I haven't taken a single break while playing this wipe. And so, this crawl thing is nice because I can actually just take a break and sit in base and do nothing. Jesus, we have almost a box of rockets. But, but I mean, I've used a lot of rockets too. Oh my god! Oh what the fuck? Brother... Okay, so that is... Basically two boxes of rockets! Oh my god! That night, as I was trying to get some sleep, some people tried to offline raid me. Oh, it's too fucking early for this. A pathetic attempt from some pathetic people. They hadn't even brought over any rockets yet, and as soon as I got online, they gave up. I was now 560 rockets into this wipe. Looked good, right? Well, getting that many rockets have taken me 7 days. And I now only had 4 days left till the server would wipe. Meaning I had to come up with an even more efficient system to get 440 rockets in just 4 days. Using a horse when I farmed, I could almost double the amount of sulfur I got from every orty. But still, this wasn't fast enough. And so here is where my secret weapon comes into play. This wipe, as I've been just farming and running around the map, I've also been stocking up on diesel fuel. And now I had quite the collection. And using a sulfur quarry, I can turn this into a ton of sulfur. But as you remember, at the start of this, sulfur quarry was taken by another group. But at this point, it had all decayed. And so I took it over for myself. First I put a wall around it, and then also a few turrets to keep it safe from other people. 
And using both these methods of collecting sulfur, I might just be able to get everything done before Forshwai. I'm not sure how much of this I'm actually showing, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to show. Uh, it's literally just me farming and crafting. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe. I feel like we're actually gonna do this now. Bro, this one is so nice using this. Oh my god. We're actually gonna do it. And all the explosives have been crafted. With 24 hours left on the wipe, I had all the explosives I would need to craft the last rockets. Now I just needed the gunpowder for all these rockets. Which was still a fair bit. But it was now clear that I was going to do it. As long as nothing goes wrong, I was going to reach a thousand rockets. I continued farming and I started crafting up all the rockets. Bro, I can't believe it's almost over. It's almost done. I can leave the server and never come back because I'm never doing this again. I've actually used so many rockets this wipe that it's, it doesn't even look like that much, but I'm almost done. Okay, 40 rockets left and then we're done. Then, with only 40 rockets left to craft, I now only needed a bit more charcoal, and it would be done. But that is when a familiar group came back for round 2. This was the same group that had raided me earlier when I wasn't able to seal. And this time, I just wasn't fighting to keep my base. But if I lost now, that would be it. I wouldn't be able to craft the last 40 rockets, and my goal of getting to a thousand rockets would be destroyed. Oh no. Bro, it's 40 more rockets! This is not good. Not good. Not good. <laughs> I need to go up on roof. I need to start killing them. I need to start defending. Well, okay. My god, this is a lot of rockets. I need to get down. I can't get an angle on them. I like. Uh, they're just jiggle peeking me. I legit can't do anything from up here. Well, <laughs> that went well. Uh, I have no idea how I'm gonna win this. Okay, that's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. I can't see it. I thought it would be way more damage. Oh, well they okay, they're getting through that soon. Bro, let me seal! Oh my bro! Thank God. Okay, that'll, that'll do.
How many rockets did these guys bring? Nice. Oh! <laughs> My base is fucked! I need to get that sealed. Or I am fucked. Like, my only, only chance is that they run out of rockets. And so hopefully, if I can just clear them once, and then seal, I'll hopefully be fine. That's all of them. Bro, this is so <laughs> intense. Please let me see them. That's fine. We take that. Oh, we're good! Bro, we got this. We, we have this in the bag. Well, there isn't much of a base to seal anymore. Yeah, we're just gonna have to kill them. No! And this is actually nuts. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, please tell me this is over. Yes, it was finally over. I still fought with them a bit more, but after me taking these rockets right here, they had finally run out of rockets. I had done it. And after all that, I could craft up the last 40 rockets. 1000 rockets as a solo player. What looked like an impossible task was now completed. I now had more rockets than I ever thought possible. And so I called on a few friends to help me use them. Oh boy. Alright. Dude! And over oh there is God. the raid base. Dude! Bro! Dude! Go in here. Oh my God. Dude, there's like. Dude, there's like so many doors and layers to go through. There, there you go. Oh my God! God, yo, Jesus, oh my God, that is a beautiful sight to see. Pumpkins. Wait, oh, shit. Bro, you have your bases missing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he literally just defended a raid. Hi everyone, how are you today? Yo, this, he's probably going to be carrying us, I'm not going to lie. Yo. Dude, gotta get on it. has happened to this base? Yo. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I was telling him, man. Did this have a war, did you have a war here or something? What happened to the core? Wait, okay, have you slept? I mean, not today. <laughs> I mean, it is overrated. Somebody's saturated. Oh, you fucker, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why I invited these guys. We first raided that group that had just tried to raid me. All right, so where are we going? X5. Oh. Just, uh, we're gonna have to land a bit further away because they have a bunch of sands, so. Okay. Land like, 
W7. Wow, they've walled off that entire grid. Yep. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know if you can do it, guys. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <coughs> Here you go, yeah. soldier. Take your rocket launcher. You get the blue one. Follow your lead. Just fucking rocket everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bag would have probably been a good idea. I got yeah. a thousand cloth. I got a thousand cloth. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, 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 See, yeah, yeah, I came prepared with everything, boys. All right. Yeah. That, that might be a trap. Um... <laughs> yeah, there's a turret in there. Yeah. We're probably going to have to rocket a few turrets with real rockets because I don't have enough HVs for four, four yeah. turrets, but it'll be fine. Yes, hit, 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 hit gate, hit gate. Who, who's that bozo? Is there a turret right there? Oh, there is. I don't see one on the right. I don't want to laugh. Bro, this place is massive. Uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we can. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can run into the cave now. All right, Bravo Six, go no, dark. into the cave. Yes, I can. Just start, start hitting both. Because it, it's it's different places. We'll just stop moving back. Unfortunately, they had quit the wipe after the raid on me. Two hundred and eighty hours of farming. Yep. I hope we brought enough rockets. Oh, gee, we are in. Oh, shit. What are the chances this guy has more than a thousand rockets? Pretty big. Oh, the low grade. Tons of fertilizer. Oh, they're a gamer. You see this? Oh, okay. It's cold out there, man. <clears throat> Lore. Environmental storytelling. Oh, my God. What? What? Oh, uh, right here. It's <laughs> the pineapples. <laughs> this is and a yeah. loot room, I think, behind there. Hey, let's blow, blow it. Everyone move from the garage door. I'm trying to be that guy. Hey. A bunch of junk gunpowder. Drink some teas, boys. Oh, do they got any peers in there, or are they just? Ooh, there's there there some nice GPU. Those parkouring off my head. Uh... So you don't move. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you don't move. Late. How do we get up here? I'm lost, brother. How do we get out? So then they just block this off, and they use the bucket to. <laughs> Don't stand up, Harvest. Yeah. I'm out of rockets. I want some room. Okay, I'm moving. I'm moving. Yeah, I'm gonna drop some bigger foot. <laughs> okay. So get back in position. Okay, I'm going yeah, I'm out of Slowly well. moving forward. There okay. you go. Wait, it's not. Oh, wait. No! Oh, oh my god. No, Who did it? Who did it? Who shot me? It was Tom! <laughs> Yo, they got some fucking gamers, man. You got some actual <gasps> gamers. Bob Hopkins. Oh, take a one. Bob Hopkins. Just, just take and even throw shit when we go. Lord. For <laughs> 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 jumping jelly beans. Then we looked for an online raid and we found a village that was online. The door right on me. We, we can raid both of them at the same time, you think? Yeah, yeah, just fucking okay, just okay. start right. hitting shit. The door. Let's fucking armor that shit. I got a second one ready. Oh, someone's in there. He's dead. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, shit guys. Oh, Dude, you gotta tell us when you're gonna shoot. Uh, Stay on your turn, guys. Stay on your turn. Oh, I killed them all. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. 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 Oh. Nah, I'm just going. Yeah, I'm just shooting. Right, just going. Stand up. Right. Oh. oh. Yeah, come on, Tom. Okay, I won't. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. Oh. Ooh. He said, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. "I got you." <laughs> go, 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 go. I just go. Is that a guy in second floor? There's a guy green second floor. Yeah, the left I, I just killed him. <laughs> oh, nice. Dude, just use rockets for people. Rocket, rocket, rocket. It's a good what? battle. <laughs> yeah, you guys came out of nowhere. I got no. decapitated. <laughs> we felt kind of bad after raiding them, and so we brought them back to my base. And we let them get their revenge on us by letting them foundation wipe my base to finish up the swipe. Alright, so. <laughs> now. We did raid you guys, and we do feel a little bad. So today, 
We're going to let you do the same with us. Now, if you look up to your new god, all right, he's going to drop you all the rockets. Let it, let it shower, Mr. I-OK. -Okay. Let it shower on him. Yes. Pick them up, my oh, fellow kids. Shit. Okay, that sounds right. My fellow children. Uh, maybe that does sound. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick up the rockets. Tell them that there's more. <laughs> start oh, raiding. All right, there's, there's more. There's more where that came from. Just start, <laughs> just start shooting. The base. Go, shoot. The base. You guys have to shoot first. You guys hit it first. Yeah. Aim for the metal okay. first. Aim for the metal. Okay. Okay. Aim for Let's the metal go. first. Yeah, I guess so. Lord.